Assalamu alaikum. My presentation is related to central line associated bloodstream infection. Uh, my name is Asad, a nurse educator from King Fahad Medical Institute. The presentation is uh, divided into two, four parts general information, compliance with central line, how to handle a central line, and the education to prevent the uh, clapsia related bloodstream infection. Uh, the aim of my presentation to ensure that participants have a basic understanding of central venous access device and to recognize the potential risk factor associated with the use of central line. As general information, 48% uh, of patients in ICU they have a central line and the infection will cost around 55 uh, thousand to fifty six thousand. The average stay in the hospital will be seven days, and the uh, above two fifty thousand CVC related infection will lead to mortality up to thirty five percent. Bel Ishmael, خمسة من عشرين بالمئة من المرضى بالعناية الفائقة عندهم سنترال ناين، وقت اللي يلتهي بالقسطرة بتأدي إنه الكوز تصير 35 ل 56 ألف مما بيؤدي إنه المريض بيبقى بالمستشفى سبعة أيام زيادة ونسبة الوفيات بتكون بالسنة حوالي 35% شو the correct answer a total of 250,000 cases of CLAPSI have been estimated to occur annually what is the estimated attribute mortality for each infection and the margin cost of healthcare system per episode and patient length of stay. As per the answer, the, the correct answer is 35% mortality and 35,000 per dollar infection and average rate will be 7 days to stay in the hospital. What is the definition of CLAPS? CLAPC, as defined by the CDC guidelines, this is the CDC is in place for more than two calendar days prior to a positive culture in condition that the infection will be related to the uh, central line, not to infection from the other side. The uh, CLAPC could be uh, infection, bacterial, vi viral, fungal, and it will entire the body and begin to colonize. تحديد الكلابسي هي إنه الكاسترة بتكون بال عند المريض يومين قبل ما تبين ال positive culture والالتهاب هو خاصه بالكاسترة ما خاصه بمرة تانية أو infection تانية بالجسم. In general, what is the central line? The central line is a flexible tube. It will be inserted in the big vein and it will go directly or to the heart or near the heart. It could be internal jugular where the, the uh, tip will go to the neck or chest, we call it subclavian, or groin when, when the tip will be in the femoral line or umbilical vein. It will be used for administration of fluid, obtaining blood, or hemodynamic uh, monocytes. Some catheter they have two or three lumen, allowing more than one treatment at a time, and depending on the type of catheter, it might be left in place for weeks or months. Al qastara hi yain yain بينحط وقت المريض بحاجة لأدوية معينة أو لناخد دم وقت المريض ما بيكون عنده عروق منيحة أو بالآي سي يو للمونيترينج للهيموداينامك التيوب باي اتسلف أو بيكون عنده وان لومن أو تو لومن أو تري لومن بيأدي إنه وقت بدك ياخدوا العلاج ما في ريسك أوف إنكومباتيبيليتي وفينا نخلي لللاين أكثر من شهر لسنين حسب السنتر لاين باي إتسلف. This is the type of center line that are most common. The mid line is uh, it will go from the arm to the knee of the chest. It will remain in place two to four weeks if no infection. 
pour ta carte or uh, subcutaneous food, it remains in place for more than a year. The internal sugar line, it remains in place two to three weeks. Uh, we cannot keep the line when the patient will be discharged or we have to remove it. The peak line, it will be inserted in the uh, uh, basilic or cephalic vein and the tip will go directly to the heart. Peripheral line, uh, it can remain in place up to one week. How the central line causes infection? The central venous catheter disrupts the integrity of the skin, allowing bacteria and fungi to enter. The infection will spread in the uh, bloodstream, and the hemodynamic change and the organ dysfunction uh, may result. As per the uh, picture here, as you can notice, the infection could be in the skin, skin organism. This is from our head, if we are not uh, washing our head properly, or with the devices, if we are not cleaning the devices properly, or with the hub, if it will be contaminated when we are uh, uh, inserting the IV fluid, if we will not clean the hub with alcohol and wait until it will dry, or by the infusion that we are giving it, the contamination, are giving medication or fluid or TPN while preparing the medications. حسب الصورة اللي هون فينا نعرف إنه أكثر نسبة التهابات بتجي من ال من الإيد إذا نحنا as practitioners ما عم نغسل إيدينا قبل ما نشتغل بالcenter line أو ال الحب اللي من برا إذا وصلنا السوية بدل ما ننظف الهاب بالكول وننطر لكل تنشف بعدين نوصل السوائل او التلوث الاجهزه الموجوده عنا او وقت عم نحضر السوائل مثل التي بي ان او الميديكيشن الادويه اللي عم نستعملها اذا عم نعطيها بطريقه ما نظيفه او ما بنمشي حسب الاسئله the most organism causing clapsy is coagulase negative, which we call it staphylococci. The second will be gram positive bacteria. The third, anterococci or candida. The, then, the gram negative bacteria. Choose the correct answer. As per laboratory confirmed infection of central line, which of the following is predominant pathogen causing clapsy? As we mentioned, the most is uh, staphylococci epidermis, which is from our head. The risk factor, the risk factor that contribute to clapsy, uh, the patient characteristic, the provider characteristic, and the device. مسبب للالتهابات القصرة أو المريض بحذيته أو نحنا ك healthcare أو أجهزة اللي عم نستعملها. Patient characteristic if the patient is immunocompromised or he is malnourished or the patient is in the hospital for more than uh, uh, seven or ten days. The provider characteristic we as uh, healthcare if we are not seeing or whenever there is high ratio of patient. The devices characteristic if we are using a site of femoral line. The cause of the infection in femoral line is more high. If we are using a central line with triple lumen, the risk of infection will be high. Or if we are using a TPN, when the TPN is in place, the risk of infection will be high. Or the type of dressing that we are using, if we are using both dressing, the risk of infection is very high. Musabibet, تعمل مع مريض اللي عنده حرق أو المريض اللي بيكون بالمستشفى لمدة معينة أكثر من العشر أيام إذا نحنا بروفايدر ما نا عاملين تريننج كيف نتعاطى من القسطرة أو وقت بيكون عندنا نسبة مرضى أكثر من نسبة الممرضات بالطابة والديفايسز اللي هني عم نستعملهم إذا كنا عم حاطين القسطرة بالفيمورال اريا او القسطره فيها اكثر من 
هومن بيكون عدد الانفكشن بيكون عالي او عم نستعمل تي بي ان او البلاسينج اللي بنستعمله فيه جلوس بلاسينج اللي بيسبب انه المريض يصير عنده انفكشن عالي choose the correct answer of the following which action will decrease the risk of infection as we mentioned inserting a single lumen rather than multiple lumen will lead that the risk of infection will be uh, less what are the signs symptoms of uh, clinical infection uh, fever chills hypotension hyperventilation gi disturbance like vomiting diarrhea neurologically like confusion seizure and sometimes the infection will lead that there will be purulence at the site the patient will be at risk of shock and uh, uh, he will uh, when, when there will be sepsis the risk of infection is very high at this time we have to remove the center line this is the first module related to uh, clapsy in general now how to decrease the risk while uh, compliant with the center line bundles. What are the center line bundles? As we mentioned in hand hygiene, prior to inserting or maintaining a central line. Second, while inserting the central line, the maximal barrier precaution that we have to use. What we need by maximal barrier precaution are the PPE, the use of chlorhexidine as skin antiseptic while inserting or carrying a central line. Catheter size selection for the central line insertion, as we mentioned, the better is the subclavian. The less common is the femoral because the risk of infection is very high with femoral. And daily review of line and necessity of remo removing of central line if it's not needed. When, when we have to perform the, the hand hygiene, we need to remove all jewelry, the rings and watch, and we have to follow proper surgical step for hand hygiene and proper hand hygiene while uh, maintaining aseptic technique. For hand hygiene, for aseptic technique, it should be 40 to 60 seconds. For surgical, it, it should be two minutes. It proceed to scrap the arm, keeping the hand higher than the arm. Then we have to wash each side of the arm two to three inch above the elbow for one minute. With maximal barrier precaution, we need to ensure proper aseptic insertion using sterile barrier and ultrasound guidance when we have to insert a central line. We need to maintain a sterile heat. We need to drape the patient with full body drape head to toe. What are the uh, proper uh, PPE, head cover, mask, sterile gown, and sterile gloves. Maximal barrier precaution for the uh, operator facing the central line and for those assessing is as per the questions below, the proper answer is the patient should be covered, uh, the, the uh, surgical, the doctor should wear cap, mask, uh, sterile gown, and sterile gloves. Chlorhexidine with skin antiseptic. The surgeon should use the skin prep uh, uh, back and forth. The scrubbing should be for 30 seconds and then it should allow to dry. The chlorhexidine should not be used for infant less than two months because there will be risk unless it is approved by facility. 10% iodine or 70% alcohol may be used for anyone with chlorhexidine sensitivity as per your uh, policy in the hospital. If inserting umbilical central line, you should avoid tincture of iodine because it will, it's a potential effect of neonatal thyroid. The best antiseptic solution for cleaning is chlorhexidine. Lizing in hot argillic back and forth, limited to the semi, قبل ما ينحط السنترال لاين لازم تكون الجلد منشف قبل ما ينحط. It's contraindicated للنيونيت لأنه بيأثر على الثيرويد. It's recommended to use alcohol مع أيودين إذا المستشفى عندكم تسمح لكم أو البوليسي بالمستشفى عندكم تسمح لهذا الشيء. 
Choose the correct answer. Risk factor for central venous catheter infection include inexperience of person in inserting the central line, colonization of catheter which organism. The proper answer is skin preparation with chlorhexidine scrap for at least 15 seconds. As we know, the proper is to scrap at least 30 seconds, not 15 seconds. What is wrong in this practice? شول غلط به صورة. Correct. The assistant, both of them that are not wearing proper PPE, no gown. There is mask, but no proper PPE, no no sterile gloves and no cap. So it's not it's not recommended whenever we are inserting a central line. For optimal catheter site selection, as it was being mentioned, subclavian, then internal jugular, then femoral. Subclavian uh, is uh, the best for uh, um, uh, for inserting of central line. We need to avoid femoral because studies will mention with femoral line the risk of infection is more highest versus subclavian, but with the subclavian, the risk of thrombotic complication is a little bit more than the femoral line. Special consideration for site selection, whenever the, you need to insert a central line, you need to take into consideration the history for the patient, if he has any anatomic deformity or presence of coagulation, coagulopathy. Deformity, like uh, sometimes if the patient has mastectomy, we cannot put the central line at the site of mastectomy. While uh, when we put central line, we have to take the eye in the eye if the patient has a medical problem. For example, the woman who has mastectomy, يعني عايمين للصدره ما بينحط السنترال لاين على الميل اللي من قام صدره او اذا في مشاكل اوف ترومبوسس ما بينحط السنترال لاين لانه منخاف لترومبوس تو مايجريت وبتعمل كومبليكيشنز فور هيمو دياليسيس ات واز بي منشن يسترداي uh, the subclavian is not recommended, uh, is recommended at a time to put internal jugular line and we need to use the right side to, the, uh, to reduce the risk of hematoma of pneumo and pneumothorax uh, with uh, 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 fistula. Whenever we are inserting a central line, it's recommended to have ultrasound guidance to reduce the number of cannulation. Hala method peak line, it will be inserted under ultrasound guidance. Uh, uh, so some nurses are trained to insert the peak line. After initial, uh, initial insertion, of central line, we need to apply sterile dressing. You have to use existing order set if available or obtained by a doctor. Chest X-ray to be done post insertion to check replacement of tip. No fluid medication should be administered for uh, via the line uh, if the X-ray is not being done. After placement of central line, a new set should be administered or, uh, or uh, uh, used. Never connect previously used IV tubing to the new central line uh, insertion set. What have been had the central line? Listen, we have the dressing, but before we have the dressing, we have to check the tip of the central line in place. We have to by ultrasound of guide, what we have done ultrasound or chest X-ray. We have to start any treatment before we have the confirmation that the tip of the central line is in place. What we have the central line is done. We have to set أو الـ devices اللي بنستعملهم يكونوا جديد ما بنستعمل شيء قديم لحتى ما يتعرض المريض لـ collapse أو infection. True or false, the femoral site is the best site for central venous catheter uh, used.
Oats, correct. The, the fourth component of CVC bundle, daily review of central line. As nurses, we need to assess the need of central line. On daily basis, we, we will do around, we'll check if the patient is in need. We'll inform the doctor whenever the patient doesn't need the central line. The patient will be in need of central line in case of medication like chemotherapy, TPN. Uh, every day we have to ask the following. Uh, are we in need of central line? Do we need double lumen or one lumen? And we need to check date and time of line placement in order to change the dressing if the dressing is due to be changed. Kilium, when I am checking a CVC bundle, نتأكد إذا اللين بحاجة لإلو ولا لا. نسأل حالنا مريض بحاجة للmedication. إذا مش بحاجة لللين وخلص المedication نطلب من الدكتور يعمل يكتب order to remove the central line. وزيت الشيء نتأكد إن الديت أمتى نحط السنترال لاين وأمتى نعمل دريسنج لأنه بعد سبعة أيام من الدريسنج لازم يتغير دريسنج سايت. Daily review. This is the CVC bundle when we need to keep the central line. Long term antibiotics, multi IV antibiotics. Whenever we need blood administration, vesicant or inotrop medication, chemotherapy, uh, hemodynamic monitoring, and uh, uh, frequent blood withdrawal or pain management or PCA for our patient. The central line. عنا antibiotic لأكثر من عشرة أيام والantibiotic بيأثروا على بيأدوا ليكون عنا extravasation منهم الفانكومايسن uh, عنا مريضنا عنده difficult cannulation وعنده blood product to be administered عندك مريض بالاي سي يو عنده inotrop مثل دوبامين والدوبيوتامين عندك مريض بالانكولوجي سنتر وعنده uh, chemotherapy او عندكم مريض عنده hemodynamic monitoring بتخلوا central line uh, بالكينج فهد ميديكال سيتي عندنا سي في سي باندل اون ديلي بيسز وي هاف تو تشيك ديلي ذا ار ان ويل دوكيومنت ذا لاين نيسيسيتي اوف ذا انسرتر اوف ذا سنترال لاين ذا ار ان اور بيرسونال اسيستينغ ذا فيزيشن اور انسرتر ويز ذا بروسيجر ويل كومبليت ذا سنترال لاين بروسيجر تشيك ليست ايذر الكترونيك ويش از ذا ايبيك or in the form like it is. Uh, we will do our documentation whenever we don't need the central line or whenever we need the central line that we are checking the central line on daily basis and we are documenting it. How to handle the central line? We will discuss the proper way of handling, review the general care, for prevention, dressing, cup change, and flushing of central line. I wish that it will be uh, uh, like uh, hands-on training, but since it's Zoom, I will uh, do my best to show you picture how to do proper uh, handling or maintenance of central line. Proper hand hygiene is the best method to prevent infection. Proper hand hygiene should be done before and after each procedure. With central line, we need to maintain a septic technique. We need to wear sterile gloves whenever it is necessary. We need to use a septic technique or clean or sterile gloves whenever needed. Sides should not be touched after cleaning with antiseptic solution. Uh, we have to clean with chlorhexidine and we need to uh, keep the chlorhexidine until it will dry. Uh, if there is contraindication of chlorhexidine, use iodine. Uh, 
how to handle اول شيء hand hygiene تنظيف اليد قبل وبعد البروسيجر ما بدنا نخلي ايدينا اور تكنيك اسبتيكلي اذا لازم نستعمل ستيرل جلوز بنستعملها واذا لازم نستعمل كلين جلوز بنستعمل وقت اللي بننظف بكلوريكزيدين حتى لو لابسين ستيرل جلوز ما بقى تحطوا ايدكم على الاريا اللي نظفتوا فيها بكلوريكزيدين وقت تنظفوا بكلوريكزيدين انطروا لحتى السكن تنشف لحالها قبل ما تحطوا ستيرل دريب للمريض Which what is wrong in this picture? As you notice, the skin is still wet, but the the patient is being covered to do the steroid rape for him. How to clean the, the uh, central line? Please, 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 whenever you have a central line, you need to use closed system. This is what we call it closed system or needless connector. It will be connected to the tip of central line. Uh, prior to use it, we need to clean it with good friction with alcohol. Uh, you have to scrub it at least 15 seconds, wait until it will dry, then connect the IV tubing. Abel Mat, what will be con Marid be sent my central line? Listen to Sam Lu, uh, central line closed system. Yani Matuftahu, la central line, la Tehdu dam. لازم تستعملوا هيدي الكونكشن we call it needless connector وقبل ما تاخدوا دم بتنطفوا الهب تبعتها بالكهول بتنطفوها good friction 15 ثانية وبتخلوا الهب لتنشف وبعدين you will connect the syringe or you will connect to, to give medications Dressing with central line. Five minutes remaining, please, Mr. Start. Okay, uh, we have to use chlorhexidine, as we mentioned. If we notice there is oozing, you have to change the gross dressing. Uh, every two days, gross dressing and transparent dressing every seven days. If you have to ask the patient to take a bath, you need to cover the hand of the patient in order not to have wet uh, skin. And we need to monitor the catheter site for tenderness and do not use antibiotics ointment at the insertion site because it will lead to bacterial infection. And you need to encourage the patient to report any signs, symptoms of infection. Dressing in the transparent lens shoof site. Ghost dressing in the same way. With the patient who wants to take a shower, we will cover the skin with transparent. We will give the patient news to the patient whenever there is discharges or pain. The dressing is changed every how many days if it is dry. Seven days, correct. Flashing for central line. Whenever you need to flash the central line, you need to use prefilled saline. Prefilled saline, this is what we have. Uh, uh, better to not to use manual saline preparation. Uh, we need to flash in between medications. And whenever you are using a central line, please do not use less than five mill 10 milliliter syringe because five milliliter syringe will lead to negative pressure and rupture to the central line. And whenever you are flashing, you need to do turbulent, give stop, give stop, give stop in order to decrease the pressure of the central line. Uh, this is a central line. Whenever you have a central line with valve, 
no need to heparinize the line, but whenever there is a central line with valve, you need to heparinize the line. In Arabic, when you use a central line, the best way to use a pre-filled saline هو موجود بالصيدلية مش انتو تحضروا للسلان لانه وقت انتو بتحضروا للسلان بيصير في manipulation and risk of infection will be high تعملوا flushing للcentral line between each medication لحتى نخفف ال risk of incompatibility and thrombosis وقت اللي بيكون سنترال لاين مش شغال بتحط بتسكروا الكلامب لحتى ما يرجع الدم ووقت اللي بيكون عندكم سنترال لاين ويز فالف مثل هيدا مش المفروض تحطوا هيبرين بس وقت اللي بيكون سنترال لاين ويزاوت فالف يو نيد تو هيبرينايز ذا لاين از بير يور بوليسي ريبليسمنت اوف سنترال لاين ات واز بين منشن يسترداي Uh, kill, uh, every 96 hours and whenever you have a new set you have to use a new set for central line and uh, whenever no blood return you you cannot give medication you know you need to do investigation you need to inform the doctor you need to check if the tip of central line is in place prior to do that yani what ma bitla al condam ma tastamlu central line لازم تتأكدوا انه التب بالسنت بال بالسوبيريور فينا كافا مظبوط وحتى لو عم تستعملوا سنترال لاين تأكدوا من البلاد ريتيرن قبل ما تعطوا ميديكيشنز. With education and training we need to inform the nurses, we need to inform the patient about the indication of central line, we need to inform the patient about signs, symptoms of infection in order that he will inform you. As nurses, we need to be trained how to handle central line in order to decrease the risk of infection. And we need to document our education in our uh, medical record. نحنا لحتى نخفف the risk of infection, لازم نخبر المريض على signs, symptoms لل infection. لازم the nurses should be trained مثل ما هلا عم تاخذوا محاضرات كيف بيتعاملوا مع the central line. What will become the infection? So لازم يعملوا in case of complication what they have to do. What will become the infection? Uh, you need to take a culture. The culture should be taken from the central line, line and peripheral line to confirm uh, that there is a uh, uh, blood culture from both lines and venipaction must be positive for the same organism with clinical sign symptoms and no other uh, recognized source. If the patient is septic and clapsy is strongly suspected, the, so the central line should be removed and documentation should be done. What will become the infection? لازم يتاخد عينتين لبلاد كالتشر من السنترال لاين من البريفر لاين لا يتاكدوا من وين الاورجانيزم ولازم ينعمل دوكيومنتيشن واذا السنترال لاين انفكتد ذا سنترال لاين شود بي ريموفد ا السامري تو بريفنت ذا كلابسي وي نيد تو يوز كوريكت انديكيشن فور سنترال لاين Correct site for center line, correct skin preparation, correct compliance with CVC bundle, correct reason for line contamination, and correct communications. Thank you a lot, and sorry if I'm late. Uh, do you have any question? This is my references.